so born what's again a, new energy and new passion. Oh. And so is this, is this passion what sort of um, pushed you, changing back to the wine, pushed you to want to make Kanubi a full organic across the board? And can you explain reference to Kanubi, because I know there's a lot of confusion, A, what part of Kanubi you have versus the, the other versions, the Moscatel, the other parts, and what the sort of difference is. Okay, so Kanubi is the most, uh, the most famous, the most prestigious uh, vineyard hill in, uh, in Barolo, in Barolo area. Why? Because the oldest bottle existing uh, of Barolo, uh, actually of wine, uh, before even the name Barolo was uh, codified, uh, is a bottle uh, of, um, that has on the label just the name Cannubi and the vintage uh, that was uh, uh, 1852, I think. Uh, so a bottle, this is the oldest bottle existing, you know, and, but this tells you what, because the Barolo, the name Barolo arrived around uh, uh, about uh, 100 years later, um, we, um, we have the, no, sorry, it was 1780, 80, 1782, and the name Barolo arrived uh, around after the 1850. So, so that means that the, the fame of the, the Canubi uh, was already known uh, since ever. You know? And why? Because it's the location, you know, probably one of the photos that uh, we will show you uh, later has uh, really show really Canubi Hill. And you see La Morra up here, Monforte up here, mm -hmm. and all a bowl of uh, wonderful land, uh, tongue of land, which are these uh, hills uh, are coming, you know, down toward the middle and in the very central part, there is Kanubi. The elevation is not too high, it's uh, around 300 meters over the level of the sea, from 250 to 300. It's almost all, of course, is a hill with different sizes, but most of it is south-facing, and, uh, um, and it has a very particular soil, very particular sense. So the combination of elevation, uh, soil, uh, and uh, you know, uh, also the, the, the fact that get a lot of heat, a lot of sun. So all this combination give uh, to this position a particularity that uh, uh, give uh, to the grape always the perfect maturation and the unique taste. So the Kanubi is a myth. Uh, become a myth uh, in the in the time you know that uh, and you know that the, the formation the when you have a myth uh, is something that comes doesn't matter what you know doesn't matter uh, the the objective quality uh, what is about is really the history and the uh, and the glamour behind the, behind the name so this this uh, he'll be deserve uh, uh, all our attention, all our respect, all our support. So this hill is quite long uh, and uh, there are 46 hectares altogether, but is uh, split in five uh, subzones. So only the core zone, the very central part that is all south facing, is called historically Canubi. The other part uh, are called, were called the San Lorenzo, Muscatel, uh, uh, Boschis, uh, Monroviolo, what it is. But at a certain moment, because the location is in the same hill and we don't have walls uh, in the middle of the hills, uh, so uh, the, um, we started, everybody started to call, okay, Canubi San Lorenzo, Canubi Muscatel, Canubi. Canubi, that is just the heart, and Canubi uh, Boskis. So, uh, this, um, uh, so this, this uh, ident identification uh, actually um, historically consider Canubi only the heart. Right. No? But, yep. uh, but the hill is something that has no, uh, no solution of continuity. No? Right. Yep. 
And it's true that not all the parcel has the same exposure, the same attitude. There are differences. Some are better than others. So I'm lucky enough, because I'm super lucky, I have to say, <laughs> <laughs> my parcel is in the heart of the heart. <laughs> so for this reason, I said, when, and then you know that at a certain moment, the confusion when in 2010 we had the MGA approval. Right. Yep. Uh, so the theory, the concept, the winning concept was that every villager had to decide about uh, the border of the crew, but because they are MGA. Yep. So what's actually happened is that uh, the Agriculture Commission of every village is decided about the, the border of a geographic area denominated with a certain name, you know, so a location right. without doing like in Burgundy a classification of the quality, you know. Right. So that was a, cho a, choose, uh, a choose to make it simple, to make it easier. Right. And uh, so in Barolo, there was this uh, problem of Kanubi, uh, everybody was Kanubi. Uh, so this confusion let the space, uh, and then you know Italians like to, to quell, so let the space to some way make it to go on court. And uh, it was messy and the people didn't understand all this. And for this reason, for me, was important to, and was also the right time to propose something uh, that uh, otherwise probably would never been accepted. But because uh, of this confusion was leading to, you know, uh, not, Anger? Not, a mis not a disaffection, but anyway, confusion. So, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm organic certified. And yes. so when you're organic certified, the problems are your neighbor that are not organic. So you have only, you have two possibilities. One is to sacrifice the grape that come from the rim, the border, the yep. rim of respect is called the border. And, uh, uh, or the other one is to convince your neighbor. So I said, well, <laughs> to waste all this grape in Kanubi would be a disgrace. Why don't you, I try to convince my neighbor? And of course, uh, Mm, on my on my side, I had so many uh, things to convince them. So one was okay. We need to start to talk about Kanubi in a very glamorous way right. again. And if we can create a project in Kanubi, the first organic district, this is something that uh, is good. You yeah. Know? And then, of course, uh, there are many other things like the, the security, the fact that we have to pay back this wonderful vineyard with uh, treating her with white gloves. Uh, and, and of course, uh, the last but not least is the fact that simply that the grapes are better. When you do organic farming, the quality are better, of the grape are better. And if the quality of your grape is better, the quality of your wine is better. This is a very easy equation. Yeah. Um, so, so that uh, gave me the, the idea. And then you know what? I had nothing to lose. I said to myself, myself, Maximum, they say no. They are not sh shooting me, you know. Right. So, <laughs> and this I started to knock at the door, whatever. And little by little, now I could say that uh, not everybody, but almost everybody, get convinced. And once they get convinced to try, you never get back. Right. Because the quality of the grape and the wine will really uh, show the difference. Right. That makes sense.